All right, welcome back for some more Easy Blues Harmonica. And today we're going to have a bit of a play with an MCCD backing session. Now we've got ourselves a minor blues, sort of keeping in touch with our um, minor backing tracks that we've been sort of using recently. So things we want to play along with this are like you know, your blues scale, your minor pentatonic scale. And the reason why I want to sort of have a listen to this one today is we had a bit of talk about like, you know, how to play music and rhythm is like the most important thing so like how do you get good at rhythm well one way is what nick moss suggested is to just constantly surround yourself in the music that you like so i listen to a lot of blues or i sort of have it playing on some headphones or something like that because if you keep listening to that sort of stuff that's what you're going to play like if you have to keep listening to pop music you'll play that sort of thing if you listen to opera you'll understand those sort of melodies and that's the sort of thing that you'll play so for me i like blues so i always try and listen to a lot of blues and like nick said yeah you surround yourself with that sort of music so i wanted to use mccd sessions because they use live musicians and like they do really really sort of cool stuff so what do I sort of mean by like listen to the tune? Well, look, first off, let's let's sit down and listen to the tune. One, two, three. Nice. So that sounds really cool. So what are the few things we sort of noticed straight away? There's like the one, two, the one, two. Hear this? Hear the little? Um, hear the hi hat going? So we've got that triplet feel. Triplet, 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 triplet. One. Bom 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 bom. So we've got a few things we've sort of got there. Let's listen to it again, and we're just going to outline the blues progression. Now, remember, this is minor, so if we hit this up with like a one, two, three draw, it's not going to sound cool. So we're just going to use just root notes, root notes for the scales. So we're going to use two draw for the one, three blow if you want to, four blow for the four chord, and four draw for the five chord. So we're going to start on the one chord, so we're just going to keep this going. Listen to the backing track, and we're just going to play long held notes. So here we go. Same again, but we're just going to use holes two, hole one blow, and hole one draw. Hole one, two together. One and two together blow. Doesn't sound good, does it? One draw. single notes, one draw. Nice! So what did I forget there when I used one and two blow? Well, it's getting the third of the chord and it needs to be minor. So yeah, that's what happened there. So I was listening to some sort of things. Well, something else I can sort of hear with that though is Like our arpeggiated chords here, one high octave on the one, flat seven, five. So what if we did something like that through the progression? Let's kick it off and play that one. Nice. 
begin. Four. So by using that, like a 1, our flat 7 and our 5, we're totally avoiding the 3rd, so we don't need to really be concerned whether it's major or minor. We're getting that flat 7 sound, and the rest of the band is putting in the minor chord. So what if you want to do like a little bit of soloing over this? Like we're pretty much like hiding in the background, hiding in with the band here, setting in, you know, setting in nice, and, you know, nice and in the pocket. So like I mentioned right at the very start, those symbols, so we've got like that triplet sort of sound. And for me, triplets are often that triangulation that Jason Ricky taught me. So I'm going to use four draw, three whole half step bend, and four blow. That That's going to give me like a lot more sort of notes and things. So let's have a little listen. A bit more embellishment in that one. The descending thing is just a descending scale, blue scale. Little repeats and things in there just to sort of fit it into the pattern. So like you know, if you're sort of going through your scale too fast, repeat a few notes. If you like your scale is going to be too long, skip out a few notes. Yeah. That's sort of how you get them to fit in because the thing we're listening for is the rhythm. It's not the melody. It's not the notes that we're sort of looking for. We've got that to one, two, what we sort of want to play. So I'm going to do nice and sparse. I'm just going to do chords. I'm going to do like a really sort of busy one in the middle and then we're just going to go back to like our one, our one flat seven five. So we've got like three options there. I'm going to run through three different verses. So held notes first. use one blow.
size. So you can see that look pretty simply and easily just by listening to our backing band, getting a feel of the groove, we can put together something really cool. So get out there, have some fun.